Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. It's been a few days, but it's just because I've been busy. <laughs> um, so, there's a little else on that coming in. It's a little bit better. Um, June just went to sleep for a nap, so I thought I'd come in here and record real quick. Jesse's at the dentist. Devin took him. But I wanted to come in here and show you a project that I started. And um, I also wanted to ask a question to some knitters. If I have any that watch me, I know some people do. And then I have some stuff to show you. <laughs> Happy mail and stuff from June's birthday. And, but yeah, so I did start a mindless project. Uh, I haven't been able to crochet too much. I did make another amigurumi to the living room. And I want to make my last January amigurumi for Halloween soon. I'll be starting that maybe soon. Um, but I wanted to start a mindless project to work on in between everything else. So I pulled out some mandala um, baby yarn that I had in my stash that was gifted to me fairly recently, I'm pretty sure. I think around Christmas time. Maybe? I can't remember. <laughs> but it's called Pixie Hollow. And it is Mandela Baby. Um, it's a lot three. And it's 590 yards per ball. And I have three balls of it. So I thought I would start like a baby blanket corner to corner. Just to work on mindlessly. Uh, I'm going to use one whole ball to increase it. And then I'll have two balls to decrease it. And potentially do a small border. Uh, yeah. So I'm just using a G-hook. A 4 millimeter G-hook. Looks like it's got sun damage on it. <laughs> Anyway, so this is what I got to. Like I said, I've just slowly been working on it. So there it is. So far. I like the way it's looking. And it's just something for me to kind of pick up and work a row or two on at a time. While I watch TV or just something like that. I just That's what I wanted. It was like a mindless blanket. Um, I looked and looked and looked and I was going to start like a afghan that's made up of squares. But then I just, I couldn't find like the ones I wanted to make. <laughs> so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to grab this out of my stash and make something with it. And I looked for a few patterns, and then I was like, I'll just make a corner to corner, because it's easy. <laughs> but that's how much I've got so far. So I will put a stitch marker on there to progress keep it, so that I can show you. Next time I show you, you can see how much I've grown it. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so I'm working on that just sporadically. But I did get some happy mail, and then also June, we had her birthday party yesterday, which was Sunday, uh, the 22nd. Her birthday is actually Thursday, the 26th, this coming Thursday. But uh, Devin was off this weekend, so we had it this weekend. But uh, so she mostly got clothes because that's what I asked for, and because uh, she got plenty of stuff for Christmas, you know. But she needed clothes. She was out growing everything. She also got some diapers and a couple of other little toys. Uh, but I wanted—I already washed most of them. There's some that I just got today that I haven't washed yet. So some of these are on hangers, and the pants to most of them aren't with them because they're in the drawer. But this outfit does have the pants with it. But it's just a cute little like sweatpants outfit with bears. Oh, that was cute. So cute. And then she got a cute onesie. This came with two other ones, a purple one and a green one. She's wearing the green ones right now. She's asleep. The purple one is this one. And then it came with uh, purple pants and green pants. She's wearing the whole green outfit right now. And then this cute little shirt. This came with black pants, which are in her pant drawer. And then my sister got her some really cute stuff. My sister got her this. Harry Potter. <laughs> it's a little t-shirt. What size is that? It's 18 month, yeah. She is wearing 18 month clothes because she is long. Just like Jessie. And then this onesie says, I'm very cute. <laughs> and then this cute onesie that's got daisies on it. And then I love this one. The strawberries. So cute. And then there are matching pants to both of these. But they're in the pants drawer. And they will also go with this one. And then this one. Baby clothes. And then this little outfit. It's a shirt with leggings. And then a tutu. And it's Baby Yoda. And then my sister also got this one. It's a little love book. And I think that's all. That she got one outfit that was a 2T. That my mother-in-law picked out. It's got Baby Yoda on it. But it's put up with her bigger size clothes. Uh... Let's see here. Let me get the clothes behind me because they're still back here. I get them. These are the ones that came today. And these are from a viewer. These are from Mary. These are so cute. Oh my gosh. So first she sent a little pack of socks. And it came with three pairs. So it's little pink ones with the lace. I haven't washed these ones yet. White ones and then navy blue ones. She needed socks. And then this super cute onesie. That little lace trim. And then... Some adorable cover overalls, coveralls, whatever you call them. So cute. <laughs> I love this so much. 
and this is like a little outfit it. Okay, so it came with a beautiful little dress. I don't know if you can see the detailing on it. It's got like stitching and stuff on it. It's so pretty. A little pink dress. And that came with little bloomers. And then a cute little blue jean jacket. Which Devin almost died when he saw it. He thought it was so cute. I still gotta wash these. I just got these today. So I haven't uh, washed them yet. And then I'll hang them up. Alright, so that's, I think that's everything. Okay, and this, this is the card from Mary. A cute little birthday card. It's her first ever birthday card. She didn't get any at her birthday. <laughs> but I guess people don't think about that because she's a baby, you know. But this is her first ever birthday card. And then she also sent me a card. This one, so pretty. She sent some other things too. She sent some fabric and some, uh, she sent a book for Jesse, which I think he took with him to the dentist. He had it with him. I think he took it with him. But, yeah, so I'm going to show you, uh... Where am I going to put the fabric? Right here. I'll show you the fabric. So, she's in a lot of fabric. She always sends the cutest stuff. This is... This is a panel. It is a panel. What is it? What's the... I haven't even looked at this all the way, apparently. Oh, it's tote bag. Oh, my gosh. I, when I seen it first, I was like, I'm going to make me a bag out of that. And then it's literally a tote bag. So, it's a tote bag. It says, save our seeds. And you make a tote bag out of it. I think she sent three of these. Well, if that's the case, I'm definitely keeping one and then I can sell two in my shop. Yeah, she sent three of those. That is so cool. I haven't unfolded them yet. And this is like a nice liner fabric. And this one. It's got like Saber C's and stuff like that on it. And then, what's this one? Is this just a print? Yeah, this is just like a another like liner print and this is a, tur a sea turtle print they make really pretty tote bags too and this is like uh, two more liner prints looks kind of beachy the colors you know and watery <laughs> those are so cute and then the clothes she sent June was wrapped in fabric, which I thought was so cool. It was like a little bundle, you know, wrapped together. So it was wrapped in, these were laid together, so it's like liner fabric. It's, I don't know if it's strong, because there's a lot on here, but it's like purple and shimmery. And then it was like birthday. I thought that was such a cute idea that it was wrapped in fabric, because then I could reuse the fabric, you know. And then she sent Valentine's Day. Oh, if I can lift them over here. Alright, so first there's these adorable cats. And hearts. And this pretty red is for like a liner. This red's got like love. Love my cat. So that'd be like a liner for the cat print. And then this adorable truck with Valentine's stuff in it. And then this is more cat related. It says life is better with a cat. Happiness is having a cat. Stuff like that. And then this this feels like maybe a couple of yards for liners so thank you so much mary for all that stuff and that's awesome she also sent a couple gift cards for us so that's always appreciated one of the gift cards for me was a dollar tree so i immediately went to dollar tree actually Devin suggested it because we stopped at the car wash to clean out some garbage out of the truck and he's like well now we'll go to we'll take milk home because we bought a gallon of milk for june and then we um We'll go to Dollar Tree so you can use your card. And I said, like, okay. <laughs> I ended up also buying them some candy. But I picked up two of these um, decorative mesh. I thought I could use them in my junk journals. They had uh, pink and red. I think they had a different color pink. But uh, I just thought that was cool. And then off of the, the, the plus aisle, I got two of these. They were $3 each. But they're shaker things. They're fillers for shakers. And it's like heart-shaped and star-shaped. And this one's just like glittery looking shaped. <laughs> this is like ovals. So I got the blues and purples. And this is like pinks and yellows. To make paper craft things. And these are really cool containers. I opened one. And it's like a big plastic container. With a lid. And each of them are in these little round things. So I could totally reuse these. After I use up the stuff in them. Uh, to send little happy mails to people. With different little things in them. Is what I was thinking. And I'll have these little plastic containers. It's just, it's just neat. For three dollars, it's not bad. For not only all the, um, the glittery stuff, but also the containers. And then I also got this trim. It's like a lacy-looking trim. 
So it'll be pretty in my journals. And then I got one pack of stickers <laughs> with flowers. I still got some money on my gift card. So I'll use it another day. And then the other day I actually went, before I got that gift card, I went to Dollar Tree and I got these. These are at my sister's Dollar Tree. She, hers is slightly better than hers. So I got two Valentine's Day cards because I have two people that I want to make little junk journals for Valentine's Day and send them to them. So I just picked up these two cards. Hopefully I'll get to do that before Valentine's Day. And then they had the little pearly uh, sticker bead things. I've been looking for the pearl ones. I got red and pink ones, I think. And I wanted the pearl ones. And I finally found them, so I was excited. And then I did get the pack of the small doilies, because I got the big doilies. But I need the small ones for, like, the smaller journals. So that's what I got the other day. Is that everything I wanted to show you? I think so. But if you, if you head on this long, <laughs> if I have any knitter friends out there, I wanted to ask a question. I was wondering if any of the knitters would be interested in trading some of my project bags for some knit dish cloths and face scrubbies. Knit dish cloths are my favorite, mine and Devin's both. And I have a bunch that was gifted to me, but over the years they've been kind of getting wore out, you know. I've had to throw a few away because they've unraveled. And, but I've still got a few left, and but I'm running low. So I want to get some more knit dish cloths. The, because they're much smishier than crochet ones. I like them better than crochet ones. Uh, I think it's called like Granny, uh, favorite. Granny's favorite? I, I don't remember. <laughs> I used to make them, but I don't have any knitting supplies. Um, I want to get some of those, and I want some face scrubbies for when I wash my face that are knitted and smushy. So I was wondering if I have any knitting friends out there, if you would want to trade knit dishcloths and face scrubbies for a couple project bags or something. You can, um, Email me if you're interested. My email's down below. And I will, we'll talk about it, you know. We'll figure it out. Uh, and see if I can find anyone I can swap with. Because <laughs> I really want, I need some more of those. So I need to get some. But anyways, I guess that's it for today. Not much going on. I'm hoping to get some crocheting done this week. This weekend was just busy with her birthday and everything. And, uh, yeah. So, January's almost over. Next week's February, I think. Wednesday or Tuesday. I don't remember. <laughs> but February's almost here, so I need to get... I need to sit down. Devin's off the, tw the 26th, 27th. So I need to sit down one of those days and work on these and get them out in the mail. But I have two friends that I wanted to send these to. And uh, I procrastinate like I do with everything. So I've got a lot of craft supplies. I bought a bunch of stamps the other day from the thrift store. And also a pack of, like, uh, vellum. You cut them out like glue them, I guess. Uh, words and stuff that was in with some of the stamps, so I got I need to start using it now I bought a lot of stuff and I need to start using it. I just don't have a lot of time to sit down and actually do it uh, I got some bags that I'm gonna be working on soon. I guess I'll put them ones on hold I have some already cut, but I guess I'm, I'm gonna cut these ones up first because these are Valentine's Day ones Get these cut up uh, And get ready for the shop because you know Valentine's Day will be in just a few weeks So I'll work on that maybe this week Get them up and then go back to the ones I was working on. In this box over here, I have cut zipper notion pouches, the snap closure ones. I think there's 10 of those and there's 15 zipper notion pouches. Some tote bags are cut out and some drawstring bags. I still gotta cut some liners though and the batting. I got the batting already pulled out. I just haven't cut it. Uh, yeah, I was supposed to start sewing this weekend, but I'm gonna be busy. So, but now I got all this new fabric that I can cut up. And I love this birthday. This is two yards. There's two yards of this and the liner. So, I don't know if... I'm not... Hmm. I wonder if I could make a, babe, a dress. Maybe for her second birthday. Because that would be cute. To make uh, a dress. I'd have to look up. Because I've never really sewn clothes. So it'd be cool to... Um, yeah, since it was gifted to me with her birthday stuff. It'd be cool to make her a birthday dress. For her second birthday with it. I'll have to look at some patterns and see what I can do because uh, it would be adorable. And with that other purple, it would be cute. You know, I can make it really fluffy, ruffly, whatever. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. But anyways, yeah. So I'm chatting now, but she's asleep. So I'm going to go in there and maybe crochet a little bit while watching some Little House on the Prairie. I started that back over <laughs> um, on season two already. And I will see you guys in another video. And, uh... Anyways, if you're a knitter, let me know if you want to potentially, you know, I might get more than one email. So, um, we'll just talk, whoever I end up talking to, we'll talk about it and see about doing some swaps so that I can get me some face scrubbies and some, uh,
dishcloths. <laughs> but anyways, I'm gonna hop off here and I will check in with you guys in another day or two and all that jazz. Bye guys.